Hello, I'm Jen Stagg from WithHeart.com. I'm so excited to team up with Glidden, Home Depot, and She Knows to share a really simple project that will look really high-end. Today I'm going to show you how to paint pillowcases using latex Glidden paint. Glidden's paint palettes are so vibrant and current and so I had so many different colors to choose from that I couldn't just choose one. So I went and got a bunch of these little uh, cans of paint in a whole bunch of different colors and you do need a couple of other supplies for this project. I just got these plain white pillowcases at a big box retailer and they were $4 each. Also, this is a big important part. You need something called fabric medium, fab fabric painting medium to be exact. And what this does is it makes your paint, latex paint, so that it's fabric friendly and machine washable. So that's really important, especially if you have kids like I do. Um, also, you need a couple different paintbrush sizes. I like this one. Uh, this is normally for crown molding, but I liked it because it's small and chunky. And then also just a regular paintbrush size. And also, you need some painter's tape. And this is going to help you make your patterns here on your uh, pillow cover. I'm going to do kind of a, a V pattern, going one way and then also going the other way. So a really important step is that you press the tape down really, really firmly so that the paint doesn't leak underneath uh, your surface. I think this is such a perfect like rainy day activity when you're not really sure what to do but you want to do something creative because it's easy, it cleans up easy, and it's also really fun. The first color I'm going to use is called Mint Shake. Mint is one of my favorite colors. So I was sold as soon as I saw this one. So the rule of thumb is two parts paint to one part fabric medium. <coughs> For this next pattern, I want it to be kind of abstract and unexpected. So I'm just gonna kind of put tape in various spots across my pillow. This next color I'm mixing right now is called Canyon Echo, and it's just a really great neutral gray with a little bit of a brown undertone. Alright, moment of truth, it's time to take off the tape and see what our pattern looks like. Looking good, looking good. I really love it. So now it has to dry for 24 to 48 hours before we can do the next step. Do you want to help me with this? Now these pillows have dried over 24 hours and it's time to apply a little bit of heat. And that's going to make the paint so that it's truly fabric safe. Rope pillows are one of the easiest ways to spruce things up in your home, but they can get kind of expensive. So I think this is a great solution if there's a pattern or a color that you really, really love. Head on over to Home Depot, pick out some paint samples from Glidden, and make some pillows that can transform your space. Thank you so much for watching. Check out more tutorials over on She Knows and also on WithHeart.com.